a fire has started in the building. The temperature of the heat detector increases to its activation point, which is lower than the sprinklers. When the heat detector activates, it sends a signal to the releasing panel, creating an alarm condition. When configured as a single interlock cycling system, the alarm condition opens the normally closed electric solenoid valve. With the normally closed electric solenoid valve powered open, the priming water pressure will now be released from the priming chamber. If this were a double interlock cycling system, a second event needs to occur, such as a sprinkler activation that would release supervised air from the piping network, activating the pneumatic actuator and allowing the priming chamber's pressure to release. With the priming chamber's pressure released, the incoming water pressure forces the clapper off of the seat, flooding the outlet chamber. With the outlet chamber flooded, water begins filling the trim piping, which activates the PORV and PS10 water flow pressure switch. Water will simultaneously push into the F1 check valve and begin filling the piping network. As the temperature continues to increase, the sprinkler will activate discharging a mixture of air and water until the supervisory air is purged from the water's path. Water is then continuously discharged from any activated sprinklers, controlling the fire. With water discharging over the fire, the fire's growth is controlled. As the fire decays, the temperature in the compartment is reduced, resetting the heat detector and initiating the soak timer. With the programmable soak timer initiated, Water will continue to discharge from the sprinkler for a specified amount of time. The soak timer can be programmed between 30 seconds to 20 minutes. Upon the expiration of the soak timer, the lower solenoid valve is de-energized, returning it to its normally closed state. With the normally closed solenoid valve returned to its normal state, the prime pressure will begin to re-establish. With enough pressure established in the prime chamber, in conjunction with the spring strength within the flow control valve, the clapper will be forced downward against the seat, automatically shutting off water to the system piping. With the system automatically shut off, water will no longer discharge from the sprinkler. Should the fire reignite, the temperature will increase and the heat detector will reactivate, sending a signal to the releasing panel, repeating the process.